Uh, it just makes my heart sink to come out here in the morning and see this kind of damage. Our poor garden has been struggling as it is and then to have this happen. Seven nesting boxes here. One cubic foot boxes. Each one, seven of them. Bottom plate of this wall, uh, two by four here is is raised up, and it's, it's actually going to effectively be part of the nesting box. Um, so we're just bringing this floor up to to that same level, um, and that way it'll be easier to clean out because we're going to have out here outside here. We're going to have where you can lift up. Uh, a, a door and the, that it goes the, the length of all seven boxes you just lift it up as of anything if i just need a little piece of something whatever try to see what scrap we have laying around Ideally, I got to thinking about this too. Like instead of having it squared all flat on top, where chicken mm -hmm. doors can get on top, yeah, and make a mess on top, it actually would be ideal to have a slope to where they don't want to be on it. Yeah. First nesting box wall. <laughs> this literally making it up as we go along. I did not plan these out. I just was like, figure just, out we'll get there. Yeah, just do something. Um, but we're gonna have to do not just the top here, but then you'll have this open between the studs. So we'll have to. It'd be fun. We'll have to cut each stud out and slide the top over. We want to keep chickens off. Is, is later take a, just take a board and just, you know, you could put a, a strip across here or something to nail to, or, you know. I was thinking landmines. And then just make it like a slanted roof. I have a short stroke, isn't it? <laughs> get the job done. Hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> I've got like six minutes to my shower alarm. Well, you better get to nailing. Can we do this? There's six boards left. We got one minute for board. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've already wasted 60, 30 seconds. What? Are you kidding me? And go. This is so frustrating. I was out here in the garden this morning checking on everything like I do every morning and I noticed that there's quite a few of the corn that have been pulled down and damaged. And I'd say a raccoon got in here last night. So we're gonna have to do something about this today. I'm not even sure how it's getting in the garden. I guess 
like um, it definitely could probably climb over one of our gates I don't know what the solution is there necessarily um, there might also be a couple places where maybe it could squeeze through underneath the fence that we might need to do something there so I don't know just anything that we could possibly find any possible point that it could breach our fence we're gonna do something about it today because if this happens again it's going to be devastating oh it's so frustrating <sighs> It's just a shame. Now we're supposed to be working on the chicken coop today. But as always, we have to stop what we're doing and now figure out what to do about this. There, see this one right here. Pulled down and just shredded. Another one, and another one. Here's another one. There's another one over here. Another one over there. There, there. That one, that one. Uh, it just makes my heart sink to come out here in the morning and see this kind of damage. Our poor garden has been struggling as it is and then to have this happen. There's this section of the fence here that's kind of right next to the uh, chicken coop that we're building. And this is kind of where we had ditched out to run our new um, drainage system. And there is a little bit of a gap here. I don't think that's where something is coming in, but I mean something small enough probably could. So I'm just going to add some rocks here just for the sake of it because there's just so many different ways something could be coming in and why not go ahead and make sure this is more secure than it already is. So since a lot of the damage seems to kind of be concentrated in this kind of area of the garden and running down this fence, and we previously think that we've had a raccoon come in through here before. There were actually like little raccoon footprints on the gate, but it was going under the gate back then. We're pretty sure that this is how the raccoon is getting into the garden. So the only thing we can think is either it's climbing up this fence post and then coming over the gate, or even over, I guess, it could climb over and get over this barb, but it definitely could probably climb over the gate. So we're just going to run barbed wire over the top of the gate. How would that? Well, see what if, happens. If it's coming over the gate. Yeah. Other than this isn't very protected, but still. Yeah. Glenn is just going to go ahead with putting a strand of barbed wire wrapped around each post. That way, if there is some chance that a raccoon or whatever is climbing up the actual fence post, that should be one heck of a deterrent to climbing up the post and jumping over the other side of the fence. What I need to do is I have uh, dry beans that are ready, pintos and kidneys that I need to pick, and green beans as well. And I also need to go through and pick some more corn today. And then I think any of the corn that was actually damaged by the raccoon, I'm gonna pick that, see if any of those kernels are savable, and then I can just shave the ones that are still good off and freeze those, and then the damaged corn I can just feed to the chickens. <laughs> I got today. 
Some of these beans aren't all the way dry, but I'm worried about them continuing to mildew with all this rain that we're getting. So I just went ahead and picked any that are starting to go brown. Just dry them in the house. And some of the corn that the raccoon got to was salvageable. I can just chop off where he took a bite out of it. And I got some more green beans. And that's going to be it for today.